feed me chicken. Welcome back YouTube and welcome back to my channel. Feed me chicken. Now this content that you are about to watch are gifts, are trades, are purchases from fellow YouTubers that you guys out there should be 100% watching. So before I even go any further, any further, apologies are needed to be made. The people who have either gifted me or I have bought from or I have traded with, I did this all in the year 2021. Ooh. Yes, I have not got around to doing these videos. Absolute faux pas on my part. I apologise to the tubers because really they should be getting the recognition for the generosity for their channels way, way back when I got these items. Having said that though, this is 2022. Yes, the year where if you have not seen these content creators, you should be watching them. Yes, you should. So let's begin with a channel that probably came out maybe, what, towards the end of 2021? Who am I talking about? Well, first of all, what's the game I'm talking about? Well, it's imaginary. It's imaginary. No, it's not imaginary. It is real, but it isn't in a physical form. I talk. No. It is a download code, or it was a download code. So what channel did I get this download code from? Well, I got it from Sweet Radish Gaming. I did all that by myself. Doesn't actually say that in his program. Anyway, who is Sweet Radish Gaming? Well, Sweet Radish Gaming is a guy who started off from behind the camera and is now in front of the camera, which is a good thing. But here's what I think. If you are my age, okay, and you are obviously approaching your 40s, you'll know of, or you should know of, an ad of a commercial that advertised a drink called Horlicks. Now, why do I bring this up? Well, Horlicks was a drink that was supposed to calm you down after a stressful day at work. I kind of see Sweet Radish Gamer in the same sort of frame. He has very, very calming music as he does his pickups or whatever he talks about. He also does like a space program which he's named many, many YouTubers as parts of Rockets. And I've got to say, ha, my Rocket was impressive. So thank you. But yes, along with his very calming music, his voice is extremely soothing. So if you've had a hard day, and gaming is what calms you down, unless you're playing Dark Souls, then there's no hope for you whatsoever. However, if you need to be calmed down by a YouTuber, Sweet Radish Gaming, trust me, he has your back. Now saying that, I no longer have this digital download code. And I've already let been given the permission from Sweet Radish Gaming to pass this on to another fantastic YouTuber. Who are they? Dads and lads from gaming. Now the code's already been mentioned and unfortunately I can't remember the game. And the game came from a competition that Sweet Radish Gaming had put out on his channel. I was third place, so obviously I got the third place prize, which is fantastic. Asked Daz and Daz Games, said, Look, I'm not going to play this game. It's an RPG. I don't really do digital games, especially if they're in physical form. Would you appreciate this code? Straight away, it was like, Yes, mate, send it over. We will play that game. But, but it doesn't stop there from Daz and Daz Gaming. Oh, no, 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 no. I have got two, two amazing items from them. And what is brilliant about this is it comes with a note. So, first off, thank you very much, Dads and Lads Gaming. It is much appreciated. Now, if you have not seen Dads and Lads Gaming's channel, then I think you're lying because 
Their channel is phenomenal. It will make you laugh out loud. Don't drink anything when you're watching their channel because you are likely going to spit it out all over the floor. They are funny as fuck. You can trust and believe me when I say that. And if you want to see spectacular, spectacular gaming space, gaming items, just gaming in general, go and look at the Game Room Tour for 2021. You will not be disappointed. Trust me. CRTs. No wires anywhere that can be misplaced. Absolute spot on use of all the space in the room. And, and as a bonus, and it was a fantastic bonus in my opinion, is that you will get a tour with these items on and how the atmosphere in that room must fill with all of those things happening. Whoa. But let's move on to what I got. So it comes with a note. It says, hi mate. I hope you enjoy these games. I had a load of fun with Rezzy. Shit your pants scary in VR. Love Marcus, Tommy and Jake. With a kiss. Mwah. Dads and lads gaming. So thank you very much guys. I very much appreciate it. So before I show you what you already know. Let me just show you. The Spectrum Plus 2 games, which is 5 in 1. So, the 5 in 1 Konami coin op hits, hits that we have here are Green Beret, Mickey, Yee Air Kung Fu, Ping Pong, and Hyper Sports. So, yes, thank you very, very much. It is much appreciated. And has already been hinted by it being a resi game, by it being a blue spine, because you've already seen me flash it up. I have a PlayStation 4 game. What Resident Evil game do I have? Well, I have Biohazard. There we go. Well, do I have a VR headset? No, I don't. Do I want to get a VR headset? Of course I do. Because I want to feel the sickness, I want to enjoy these games, and I can't thank you enough. You know, I've got, I'm glad it's on the PS4, because obviously the PlayStation 1 running through the PS2, PS3, into the PS4. Yes, I'm very far behind, but it doesn't matter. At the end of the day, I can enjoy it at my leisure, and when I get a VR headset, I can not only shit myself in VR, I can also puke at the same time. So, Dads and Lads Gaming... Thank you. Now, a gift that came well out of the blue. Well out of the blue. And this guy, I've got so much time for this YouTuber. It's been great talking to him off and on. He's got, recently in his private life, he has a promotion in his job. I think it takes him away slightly, where he's obviously got to concentrate on his professional life. So it takes him away from gaming just a little bit. But he's still still active he's still there talking to people he's still completing games he is still involved in the community who are talking about gib 84 gaming yes sir gib 84 gaming oh what a channel what a channel he does pickups he does gameplay he does his opinion but do you know what he's one of the tubers who actually plays his games much like Daz and Lads Gaming, much like Sweet Radish Gaming, all of them play their games. Me, I can't really say that. I buy a game with the intention of playing, but I don't have that sort of time. I intend to make more time so that I can actually have more of an opinion on games, and I can obviously talk to you guys and show you that I actually do have knowledge of these games. But I don't have, I haven't played or completed many games in 2021. Again, you know, 2022, can I do it this year? Can I do it this year? Only time will tell. But what did I get from the fantastic channel? That is Gib84 Gaming. Well, let me show you. Aside from the gaming aspect of his channel, he is a very talented, talented 
YouTuber. Certainly in the artistic form. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go and see his episode where he got a gift from Nerdy Geezer. Again, another good YouTuber. And he makes a bit of artwork to store the car that he was sent. Looks amazing. But he also came up with a Blue Peter idea in a way of storing his loose N64 carts. And I've been very fortunate to have been forwarded some of these carts, cart case holders. You're going to know what I mean in a minute. I have three of them. Two games I own, one I do not. However, they're going nowhere. They're staying with me. So the first thing I've got, GoldenEye. If you like, look at him, you can see, obviously, he has taken the idea from the NES carts. Obviously, the cartridge part will go down in here, and the game will be looked after. We have GoldenEye. We have Ocarina of Time. This is the game I do not own. I do not intend to own. Unfortunately, Zelda, Link, are just not for me. And the last one is Jet Force Gemini. So, Gib84 Gaming, thank you very much. I am definitely getting in contact with you because I am going to want some other Gib84 related artistic elements within my gaming den that I've got here. So, if you're up for it, Gib84 Gaming, I will be in contact. I will tell you what loose carts I've got and maybe. Just maybe you can send me some more artistic elements my way. Now, moving on to a story I've been wanting to tell for a lot, for quite a while since it happened really. So, how does this story, how should I start this story? Let's start with a story with explaining about two brilliant channels. So the first channel is going to be Big Game. Ow! Yes, big game out. What a guy. Uh, I think he's tremendous. I mean, he does pickups videos. He streams Fall Guys, which he's also done with Retro Games Revived, with Retro Bear, and sometimes another guest. It could be Roller Extreme Core or the Ingots Northerner. Usually, stream, I think, it's on a Friday. But if you go to his channel, you'll find out when they usually stream. That's just funny. It's all, that is just really, really funny. So you should definitely go and watch that. But he's a guy who just understands who he's directing his content to. He, he knows that, you know, when people watch his channel, if he's bought a foreign game, that he may stumble on the words. He may not be able to pronounce everything, but he doesn't care. He doesn't give a fuck. He's there. He's entertaining. He's going for... A full Xbox 360 collection. He had, or still has, a full Mega Drive collection. But, but, he was clearing this particular collection out. And I'll explain more in a minute. So what's the other channel that is involved in this story? Well, that channel is the absolute wonderful, wonderful Corbana. If you've not seen Corbana... I, I absolutely direct you to his end of 2021 video just for you to give a, get an overview of this guy as a channel because he tells you what he basically gives an overview an overview of everything he's collected this year and how much he's he's progressed his entire collection and I mean this guy he's got he can do pickups for absolute days but he's such a generous kind-hearted guy you wouldn't you, you just don't believe these people exist i mean i'm fortunate very very fortunate as you have seen in my past videos as you are going to see in some future videos that i have met some of the most generous people ever corbana is one that fits into that as well but his content his content his knowledge yeah his knowledge yeah, second to none. So I absolutely demand 
demand that you go and see his end of 2021 overview channel end of year thing. I just butchered that completely. But if you go and see it, you'll know what I mean. Take a breath. So, let's get on with the story, shall we? Once upon a time, many moon. No, I'm not going to go there. Okay, so how does the story begin? Well, the story begins with Corbana. Now, Corbana did a pickups video not too long ago that showed an amazing pickup. Amazing. Nez pickup that he absolutely scored on. Now, some were boxed, some were unboxed. One of the carts, though, was absolutely butchered in terms of his label. So I get in contact with Corbana and say, look, I've got a car for this game that just does not work. I can't get it to work. I said, do you want to take it, re-shell the game, and then if you need to sell it on, you've got that game to sell on. Corbana's like, well, that's, that's, that's cool. Yeah, just send it my way. I'll go and do that. Brilliant. Because Big Game Al was selling off his NES collection. Yes. So, from Big Game Al, I got Super Mario Brothers 3. Now, with this purchase already settled, coming my way, so I sent my cart, which was an upgrade. It wasn't perfect. It was not perfect. It was an upgrade to the cart that Corbana showed. And I sent it to him. Only for me to then receive some posts from Corbana, maybe, well, only a few days later. It wasn't much, wasn't much in it. And I get a note with it. Now, I, can't, I haven't found a note. I don't know what I've done with that. But the note basically, um, no, there was no note. That was it. There was no note with it. That's why I couldn't find it. Ha! Because I had to get in contact with Corbana. I said, Corbana, why, why have I got this? And he goes, well, I took it out, I cleaned it, I've had a go at repairing it, I've got it working, so I thought I'd send it back to you. As you can probably tell, I was slightly confused. Um, yeah, so obviously me and Cabana, we go back and forth, and um, you know, it's, it's like, well, do you want me to resend it to you so you can then do what you were going to do in the first place? He's like, well, look, I'll leave it up to you. And you can do what you want with it. I was like, okay, I'll just send it to you then. The internet sent me a message later saying, don't worry, I've upgraded the whole lot. I'm like, okay, cool. So, I have a wonderful purchase from Big Game Hour, so thank you very much. And what I have now, and as you can see, since I got it back, I have not unwrapped it, but we have a cool banner repair job on Super Mario 3 on the NES. So should anyone want a Corbana repaired game? Bear in mind, obviously, I have not taken it out. I have not tested it because it is well wrapped. Get in contact with me and I'll send it out to you. Oh, actually, what I will say is I'll send it out to you eventually because as a lot of um, tubers know, I have the intention of sending them out straight away. Don't always send it out straight away. But should you be interested in that game, let me know. Who has been generous to me next? So the man in question. The man who you need to be looking out for in 2022 because he is going to be launching yet another challenge for you guys. One I am getting involved in 100%. And what challenge is that, you ask? Well, it is the YouTube star in a Mario Kart. Yes, it's coming back. Yes, get in there. And of course, you know, you know, I'm talking about Cooper's World. Yes. But I received a game from him quite a way back now on the Xbox 360. And that game is Time Shift. Now for you, those of you out there who do not know who Cooper's World is, I call him the gentleman of YouTube. 
I find him to be very generous. I find him to be very helpful. I find him to be very patient. And he definitely deserves more recognition than what he has. He does his pickups like everyone does. But this YouTube star in America is something that everybody needs to be looking out for. There is already, already a trailer for this coming out very soon. So keep those eyes peeled. Needs to be involved. Cooper's World. Yes, watch out. That, that wasn't watch out Cooper's World. I mean, as in, everyone needs to go and watch Cooper's World and watch out for the Mario Kart thing. That really sounded really threatening. Wasn't meant to. Sorry. Now, this next one, kind of a bit of a trade, really. Great channel. And I'm going to do this in my best wrestling tone. He is the reigning. He is defending. He is the YouTuber of the Year current host. That was really, really bad Paul Heyman impression. I am sorry. But you all know who I'm talking about. I am, of course, talking about Generation Pixel. He is the host for YouTuber of the Year 2022. He should get everybody's support. And if you haven't heard of YouTuber of the Year or YouTuber of the Month, then go over to Generation Pixel's channel. Listen to his description about what it's all about how it's to promote other youtubers how it's to obviously expand the community that we're all in how it is that we you know bring us all together with the common goal around gaming yes gaming where we can talk to each other like human beings where we can trade with each other where we can trade secrets where we can just talk complete and utter gaming bollocks but he is the host of YouTuber of the Year. Congratulations, Generation Pixel. But what did I get out of him in 2021? I only got Mercenaries on the PlayStation 2. A game that for some reason I thought I owned. And I 100% didn't. So, Generation Pixel. Thank you, sir. Very, very much. And good luck with your hosting this year. Congratulations. Well, the last tuba that I am talking about on this episode of trades or gifts or purchases from YouTubers is yet another gift. Now, I've spoken to this YouTuber more and more throughout the year and I do hope to, like I do everyone who I speak to, I do hope this is a friendship that blossoms in 2022. I, I think the world of this guy uh, I obviously speak, think the world of his missus as well because she is a fantastic supporter of my channel. Thank you very much, Retro Claire. So you know who I'm talking about now. It's the Retro Bear! Yes. So the Retro Bear uh, enjoys content immensely. He does pickups. He has done his Game Rule Tour. I have been supported by this guy. You know, we've been in contact off and on, you know, since obviously we've been in contact. Um, but yeah, he's a great guy. You know, really easy to talk to. Um, very knowledgeable. Very gracious. He is the community king still. Yes, oh, how the retro bear. But yeah, I, I, I get uh, great pleasure. Absolutely, I think he's a great guy. Um, you should all go and watch his channel, obviously. You know, <laughs> there's no point in me keep bagging on about how great he is. You should go and see his content. You should go and judge it for yourself. Responds all the time. You write, just, you just write something like a nice video. He will reply just saying thank you for watching. You know, you want that sort of interaction. You want to be acknowledged. Acknowledge me. You want to be acknowledged for the fact that you've left that comment and he does that. Which is fantastic. What more could you want, you know? So, what did I get off of the Retro Bear? Well, I got Thief. Deadly Shadows. Shh. It's only, oh, only on Xbox. Brilliant. Absolutely fantastic. Um, it came with an apology note, which is somewhere... 
it was really quite funny. Um, when I find the apology note, I'll probably put it into a separate video. It's somewhere, as you can see. I apologise, Retro Bear. You can see I've obviously got quite a few things to be showing people. And yeah, I filled the notes with the game and I don't know where I put it. So, it did come with a very funny apology note. But it doesn't need to be an apology note, does it? At the end of the day, you gifted this to me. I'm very grateful to receive it. Absolutely, 100% grateful. I can't wait to play it. So thank you very much. Thank you to every single YouTuber I have mentioned. And it just goes to show, doesn't it? You know, that when you get together with like-minded people, people who are in the same thing as you, and they, you accept each other. These sorts of things are just absolutely fantastic. You know, every single gift is amazing. Or trade, or purchase, whatever it is, it's phenomenal. So thank you all very much. If you have not seen any of these channels I have mentioned, they will have this links, description below. Try that again. The links to the channels will be in the description below. Hey, I'm gonna stop babbling now. Have a good day, people. Bye. You made it to the end. Thank you so much for watching. Please leave me a comment below and let me know what you thought of this video. Also, let me know how you found me. Below is a link to my Facebook page. It is the only bit of social media I do between YouTube and you guys. This is where you will see photos of the items I have for sale or for trade. I do not do Twitter and I do not do Instagram. Take care.